Hello everybody, this is Cyric1983 and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Alright, as you can see, I got my equipment all sorted out here, so let's uh, get the show on the road here. So, I'll be trying to get, uh, well, at least one side quest this uh, video, and uh, and I'll even hire my first henchman. Alright, let's talk to Olaf. Greetings of the even-handed to you. Welcome to the House of Tyr. I am Reverend Judge Olaf Uskar, in service of the maimed god. My name is Kel. I have some questions for you. I am bound by Tyr to serve as long as the cause is just, but mind your tone. Disrespect is not tolerated in this place. What is your position here? We administered to the plague sufferers previously. We were working on artifact recovery, which may be even more important now. It is really a matter that would only concern someone more spiritually minded, and I don't think you are the type. No offense, Matt, yeah, and he's referring to, like, paladins and all that kind of stuff, clerics. But you can still persuade it out of him. I st might still be able to help. Awesome. <laughs> Sometimes it'll take a few tries to get it, but just keep cycling through until you finally get him to success. Perhaps I was too quick to judge. You seem sincere enough. You may be able to understand why this is so important. In the weeks before the plague, we uncovered the tomb of Mia Slaznia Fairblade. She traveled widely with the Hallowith Never, founder of Denver Winter. This was a great discovery and gave clues to the whereabouts of the founder's resting place. That would have been a great discovery indeed. The plague undoubtedly complicated things. Yes, it did. It is very unfortunate because pursuing these tomb tombs becomes all the more important with this city in crisis as it is. People are scared, and the lack of progress on a cure has diminished their hopes. I find a find like this would buoy their spirits. There is also a chance that powerful artifacts could be found alongside Hallowith Never's remains, though I would not rest my hopes upon it. What do you know about Hallowith Never? He was the founder of Neverwinter. Actually, not much is known about him, really. He's j become a bit of a legendary figure. He reportedly fortified a fledgling Neverwinter against the Illisk barbarians, deflecting their wrath to Luskin and setting the tone for our uneasy relationship relations with that city. Knowing the details of his life could be very beneficial to the city. The people need to know they have a history of de defeating adversity. I will help you find these tombs. I welcome your aid in this matter. You could, couldn't have arrived at a more fortuitous time. Here, take this letter with my seal. It signifies that you act with my sanction. Take it to Briley in the Peninsula District, and he will aid you. He guards the, the one tomb already found. It is in the basement of a house in the east side of the Peninsula District. Return to me if you find anything, and I will reward you. Alrighty. So, yeah, there's the first side quest, Never's Tomb. It actually uh, runs the course of the entire chapter, so that's why I'm getting it. And, uh, yeah, I'll be completing it as it comes. And there's Tommy Undergallows. I won't be talking to him yet. Alright. Oop. Bethany, oh please, can you help me? You're with the militia, aren't you? The guards at the gate said I might be able to get help over here, but I don't know if they were serious or not. Slow down, I'll hear what you have to say. Are you sure you're a guard? Now that I look, cl um, now that I'm close, you look rough. I'm sorry. I mustn't be choosy. This is too important. <laughs> it is a peninsula district. I live in there, and oh, it's just horrible. The killing, everyone running for their lives. It's horrible. Easy then. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, okay. I came from the peninsula district. That's where my ho home is. Was. No, it's too dangerous to go there. The prisoners are killing everyone. It's awful. I may have heard of this. Give some background on the peninsula district. Well, it's kind of complicated. The Peninsula District houses the Neverwinter Prison. The families of the guards and such live around it. It's been safe for years. It changed a little while ago. The guards never came home one from work one day, and now the prisoners are everywhere. First the plague, now the threat of a knife in your belly. How do these prisoners get loose? I don't know. I just don't know. Captain Alifane has always run such an efficient operation. I hope nothing has happened to him. I mean, I don't know him personally or anything, but I hear he's a good man. I know he would not have allowed this to happen. Isn't anyone in the district able to fight back? The plague has cut down on the guards in the area. It was safe while people were locked up, but now it's just overwhelming. Some are trying, trying though. Seto Sibyl is there. She is one of the of Lord Nasher's trusted, but she doesn't have many people to work with. She's mainly just guarding the gate out of the d district now. I'll see what I can do. You stay here where it's safe. And thank you. I can't say how much this means to me. You need directions? I'll tell you to be sure. And yeah, I'll be showing you where the Peninsula District is. It's in the southwest corner of the city, so yeah. So, before we go to the Peninsula District, there is some stuff I would like to do, including looting the city car, and, well, getting my henchmen all, uh, lined up, and, yeah, the sign, the trade of blades, is where you get them. And I think there's a total of six henchmen, and, yeah, there's one of them there, but the one I want to hire is Sharwin. Who's this? Holy crap. Some poor soul straggling in off the diseased streets? 
Are you here to join our ranks and beg for an employer? Or are you actually here to hire someone? Damn, she's hot. <laughs> I might be looking for a henchman. If that's so, then I shall have to reform my impression of you. Who are you, then, that you have coin to spare on hiring help? My name is Kel. Pleased to meet you. My name is Sharwin, and I call this city my home. I seek adventure and excitement. If you seek the same, you'd be smart to hire me to accompany you. And just what skills do you have? I'm a caster of bardic magic, a master of all skills, and a teller of the oldest legends. And with or without your help, I intend to achieve my own fame in my time. One day, bards will sing their songs about me. Suppose such talk may seem, make me seem arrogant to you, my lord. If so, I don't particularly care. I've known the path I was on for a long time. I left behind a life of riches to live the life of a bard. I left behind a life of riches? If my own family had had its way, I would be by now comfortably married to a wealthy man I could never respect, poured to tears in my large Black Lake District mansion. How odd a game the fates play. My family lies mostly dead now, and Black Lake is full of frightened fools who bury their heads in the sand and pretend the plague won't touch them. What do you know about the Black Lake District? Plenty. It is full near to bursting with rich, frightened nobles who would rather wall off the district from everyone else and pretend the rest of the city doesn't exist than actually try to help. There are those within the district who are trying to rally the rich to aid the rest of the city, but their cries mostly fall on deaf ears. One day the plague will come to them in force, and they shall regret their selfishness. Anything else you can tell me about Black Lake? Is there much else to tell? It is perhaps the one place in the city that remains yet orderly and plague-free, although getting inside its walls may be a bit of a problem. There are some elements of seediness, perhaps. Every place you find the rich, you find places where they can indulge their strangest tastes. I understand the local tavern's basement has its distractions. <laughs> one thing I know for sure, if you intend to get anywhere in Black Lake, you'd best rely on charm rather than muscle, or maybe bring a companion who knows the terrain. Actually, I'm looking for some help to assist me on my mission. So I understand. Might you be able to eliminate us the nature of this mission? It doesn't matter which one you say, so... I just told her. Arabeth is Lord Nasher's servant, so your mission is bound to be exciting. Hmm, yes, I'd rather like to join you, if the price is right. My skills don't come cheaply, however. I'll follow you gladly and to the best of my ability, my lord, provided my price is met. Uh, that's 250 gold, and yeah, you can persuade her down. Awesome, first try. <laughs> oh, let's split the difference at 225, then. Yeah, 225, deal. Awesome. But yeah, if that doesn't work, just keep going through uh, through the conversations and uh, keep persuading her until she does uh, drop it. We'll be doing that with everyone. And yeah, she's got some basic rogue skills, so we'll be using uh, her to help me loot the uh, city core, but... Done after done. that, I'll be uh, gathering all the uh, henchmen and uh, delivering them to be to the uh, Temple of Tears. So. Alright. There's another treasure. There's two couple other treasures, but we'll be coming back here later. Alrighty. So, let's start up here and get the crate. Four gold pieces. And this house contains one, uh, I guess, openable treasure thing. Chest of drawers. <laughs> There's nothing upstairs, but... Alright, a gem. chest. A few bolts. There's a chest around the corner here. Actually, this is the first one that's locked, so she's gonna have to unlock it for me. Oops. And while I'm uh, doing that, I might as well uh, put in a command down here to um, pick locks. <laughs> yeah, if you actually issue the command before, you know, jiggling to see if it's uh, unlocked, she'll actually unlock the closest one, so there you go. So if she doesn't run to the closest one to you, then that one's unlocked. <laughs> and he's cut on down on time for when for the ones that are locked. So yeah. Get this crate. And what's this place? Moonstone mask, that's where we wanna go. And the person we're looking to speak to is Giles. What? I sense the stink of tear upon you. I hear that Olaf has you running errands. Maybe it displeases you? Care to hear an offer? What do you want? Ah, uh, you answer rude and rough. Are you what I need? Can you steal and kill, or are you an indignant lackey of tear? We shall see. I do what needs to be done. What is your offer? The justice of tear is a sickening grip on this city. Talona would like to see something happen, something that will shake the tear in faith. My name is Giles. I need someone to act without conscience and to spoil what the Tyrans are trying to achieve. You see where I'm going? You were given a letter by Olaf asking you to find certain tombs and the artifacts within. The fool wants to strengthen the will of the people. 
These relics of Heleth never could be benefit the Church of Telona, perhaps, be warped to her evil her will, and if not, they should be destroyed. Even in times of plague, you scheme. How petty. Telona is her most active, while people are languished beneath disease. That is her domain, no matter if she caused the plague or not. Olaf and his brethren have no guarantees that these items will stop the plague, they just know how they could prove powerful. And yeah, just, uh, why do you think I'm working for Olaf? Uh, and he knows. Uh, hold it's gold I can offer, it's simple that. Uh, you were dying at the tomb and didn't help the dying. Or you were at the tomb and didn't help the dying. And you got Jacob's quill. That's despicable. Give me Jacob, Jacob's quill now. <laughs> and yeah, just, uh, there we go. And by doing that, you can actually take this back to uh, Olaf, and he will give you 500 gold. But I'll have to take care of that next time. This is Sirik1983 signing off, and I'll meet you outside the Moonstone Mask.